Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to unlock the bootloader on any Android phone without using a PC. So please take a backup of all the data. This is because the process will wipe off all the data and also it might make the warranty null and void as well. Apart from that, if you are using a Xiaomi, Poco or Redmi phone, then there is a separate video on how you could unlock the bootloader without using PC. So do check out that video as well. I have linked in my guide as of now this video is for those phone which uses the fastboot command for unlocking the bootloader so with that said let's get started first of the requirements so you will need a secondary android phone so in my case i will be unlocking the bootloader on my oneplus phone and my pixel phone will act as a secondary phone so apart from a secondary phone you will just need an usb otg adapter which is type c to type a as you could see and a usb cable which is obvious so once you have got the OTG adapter, USB cable and a secondary AdWord phone, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking on that phone on which you are unlocking the bootloader, which in my case is the OnePlus phone. So let's go to settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. After that, you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, then go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. So let me do that once again. You will get a prompt next to USB debugging as you could see from here. So just tap on OK. And with this we have enabled debugging on our main phone. Likewise we have enabled OEM unlocking as well. Once you have enabled both these things on your main phone, let's now move over to a secondary phone. And on your secondary phone, you will have to install the app known as Bug Jagger from Play Store. So this is the app as you could see from here. So let me start from scratch. So simply install the app from Play Store. And once you have installed the app, launch it. And as of now, you will be on the screen. You should be on this menu. So guys, now you will have to connect the USB OTG adapter onto your secondary phone. So let's do that. Likewise, connect the type A end of the USB cable onto your secondary phone inside the USB OTG. On the other hand, connect the type C onto your main phone on which the bootloader is to be unlocked. As soon as you do a connection, you should get a prompt on your phone regarding the allow USB debugging. In my case, I have already enabled debugging and done a setup. So I am just getting a USB debugging connected prompt. In your case, you will get a prompt to allow USB debugging. If you get that prompt, just simply tap on OK or allow. So let me show you once again. So you might get a prompt something like this, allow bug jagger to access KB001. So tap on OK. And you might get a prompt once again. So if you get any such prompt, then just make sure to tap on OK. And then tap on list devices in the app. And as you could see, you are getting the phone number or rather the serial number as well as the phone ID, which is the OnePlus 8T in my case. So this signifies that our Secondary phone is able to read the main phone. If your secondary phone is not listed here, then you will have to unplug and replug your phone once again or unplug and replug the USB OTG once again until you get your phone ID over here. Once you get your phone ID, this signifies that the ADB connection has been established and now you could move ahead. So now our next course of action is to boot our phone to fastboot mode. For booting to fastboot mode, you will just have to tap on the reboot bootloader icon do so and as you could see our main phone is now booting to the fastboot mode and it will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see it's now in the fastboot mode and the device state of my phone is currently logged. So the bootloader is currently logged. Now once you are in the fastboot mode inside this app you will now have to go to the fastboot tab which is the second last tab. Go, go here and now you will see a shell icon at the bottom right. Just tap on the shell icon and now you will get a prompt re regarding the warning. So just tap on I understand and now inside the command shell type in fastboot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. As you could see in my case, let me zoom in. I am getting a serial ID and th this is the same serial ID which corresponds to my OnePlus phone as you could see from here. So with this, we have established the connection successfully and now let's proceed ahead and unlock the, our phone bootloader. So now type in fastboot 
फ्लैशिंग अनलॉक एंड हिट द एंटर की एज सुन एज यू डू सो यू विल गेट अ प्रॉम्प्ट ऑन योर से प्राइमरी फोन एज यू कुछ सी ऑन सम फोन यू माइट नॉट गेट अ प्रॉम्प्ट ऑन वन प्लस यू गेट अ प्रॉम्प्ट सो सिंपली सेलेक्ट अनलॉक द बूट लोडर सो एज यू कुछ सी आई मेड सेलेक्शन वाई वॉल्यूम की एंड प्रेस द पावर की टू कन्फर्म वंस यू डू सो योर फोन विल अंडर गो आर रिसेट एंड द बूट लोडर विल देन बी अनलॉक्ड लाइक वाइज ऑन योर सेकेंडरी फोन यू माइट गेट अ प्रॉम जस्ट टैप ऑन ओके लेट मी डू सो वंस अगेन सो ऑन योर सेकेंडरी फोन एज यू कुछ सी लेट मी शो यू द प्रॉम वंस अगेन so on your secondary phone you the command might get erased that is not an issue because our task is now complete and the boot order is now unlocked so guys let me just show you the status as well do note that the first boot up will take up some additional time which is completely normal and nothing to worry about from subsequent time it will not take that much longer as of now your phone is being set up from scratch likewise in the fast boot shell as well you will get the unlock boot order successful message you could Rewind the video and verify the same. A couple of seconds earlier, you might have seen a text over here, which would have listed "fast boot flashing unlock OK finish total time." So that signifies that the unlocking is successful, which is the case in my phone. You could rewind the video a few seconds earlier and verify the same as well. As of now, the command has been the history of the command has been erased. That's not an issue. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. and then i'll show you the result as well now you may easily unplug your phone if you want that's no longer required so there is no harm or any thing as such while carrying out the process without the pc but you could only you do so on those phones which accept the fast boot oem unlocking or the fast boot flashing unlock command if you own a xiaomi phone that requires a me unlock tool there exists one more method using the usb OTG through which you could unlock the boot order. You could refer to my dad video as well. On the other hand, for Realme phones which require a separate APK, in-depth test APK, for that I'll still have to check out a video. I haven't found any resource or any trick as such. As soon as I found that, I will upload it. So as of now, you could use this this video to unlock the boot order on your Pixel phone, on your OnePlus phone, and a secondary video which I've uploaded. that could be used to unlock the boot order on all the Xiaomi Redmi and Poco phone so let me set up my phone offline quickly and show you the status of boot order it will take only a few seconds so let me skip all the stuffs and take you to the os so just a minute so with this we are now in the os and now let's verify the oem unlocking progress so go to the settings menu then system and sorry go to about phone tap on build number 7 times this will enable developer option then go to system developer option and as you could see oem oem is already unlocked you could also verify the same from the fast boot menu if you want so let me show you that as well let me enable usb debugging on my phone and now establish a connection So as you could see now, I am getting a prompt. So tap on always allow from this computer. By this computer, we mean the secondary Android phone. So with this, the ADB connection should have been established. Let's verify that same. Tap on list devices, and as you could see, my phone is being shown here. Now just tap on reboot bootloader, and my phone will now boot into the fast boot mode. I have made a separate guide on how you could verify if the phone bootloader has been unlocked or not from the fast boot menu as well. you could refer to my guide as well but in case of oneplus you could simply see over here the de device state is being shown as unlocked so this signifies that the bootloader has been unlocked on my phone so guys on my so guys on that note i round off this video just keep in mind that whenever you are using the fast boot command don't use the fast boot command from the main screen instead you will have to scroll to the second last option then open the shell from here and from here only you could use the fast boot commands you cannot use the fast boot command in the main screen because that is only for the adb commands the second last screen which you you could see over here this is for the fast boot flashing whereas the first page is just for the adb connection so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries first and foremost try using a different usb cable or 
using a different OTG adapter and try switching the cables as well and this should fix the issue but you still if you still have any issues do let me know in the comment section